What am I supposed to do with these? I don't know. Oh! <laughs> bon appétit. So I'm in volume one today of Master in the Art, French Cooking from Julia Child. This is the first time I've ever held an artichoke in my hand. I haven't had a lot of artichoke in my life. Uh, I'm counting maybe once or twice, and that's not including like the dip. Just look at these things at the grocery store and I don't even give it a second thought. In fact, today was the first time that I even went up to them. I don't know what to do with these things. They're the most intimidating vegetable I've ever seen in my entire life. They are great for spinning. I usually make the vegetables from this book for like sides on the plate, but this is gonna be the star today. So here's the thing, I gotta learn how to cut this bad boy open the right way. Julia lays out in great detail how to do that, so I'm not too worried about that. And then I have to cut straight to the heart. That's because the artichoke heart is the tender, meaty bottom of the artichoke. So once I've done all that, the end goal here is stuffed artichoke hearts au gratin. I just have to figure this out. So I'm just gonna get started and away we go. Choose the largest artichokes you can find. Ideally, they should be four and a half inches in diameter, which we'll do for one serving. Four and a half. Firstly, I gotta break the stem off. Ugh. Yeah. Holding the artichoke base, bend a lower leaf back on itself until it snaps, then pull it off. Like just the, how many leaves are there? It goes on forever. Cut off remaining cone of leaves just above the top of the heart. Just above the heart. I really don't know what's going on. I mean, I realize I could just watch a YouTube video on how to do this, but I want to stick to the book. I want to read what Julia's trying to tell me here. Slice off the rest of the leaves just over the top of the heart. I think she just means this. Where is the heart? But as she lays out in this diagram, so I think the heart is underneath that. So holding the heart base up, Rotate it slowly with your left hand against the blade of a knife, firmly in your right hand to remove all pieces of green and to expose the whitish surface of the heart. What is this? I don't know what I'm doing. Frequently rub the cut portions with lemon juice. You need about a tablespoon of lemon juice in a bowl and about 950 milliliters, one quart of water. And I let that soak in there so it doesn't turn brown or anything. Now it feels like I'm removing like a lot off of this thing. It's hard to believe that uh, you have to, you know, give up all of this stuff just to get the heart, which I'm, I'm hoping this is what this is. So I think I can just, honestly, she says like break this thing, but I think I can just cut this off. Uh, yeah. Take off the, the obtrusive leaves first, bend them backwards and remove. See, I'm getting the hang of it. Let's take off top of the cone. So I gotta expose the whitish surface of this heart. There it is, there it is. Cause I believe this purple part or whatever's underneath this purple part is the choke. Rub it in the lemon juice. Third and final time, let's do this. Like an inch of the tip off. So these leaves on the outside need to come off. Just instead of breaking them, I feel like I can just cut them off. She had a more meticulous way of doing it, but I find that just cutting around it is the best option. Gotta expose that white. There it is. Now this looks like the diagram, so I, I'm just gonna follow my heart. No pun intended. Next up I have to cook the artichoke hearts in a blanc. A blanc is a solution of salted water with lemon juice and flour. It is used for preliminary cooking of any food that discolors easily, such as artichoke hearts. For this, I need a saucepan. And I'm gonna put the flour, one ounce, like 25-ish grams. And this is one pint, 473 milliliters of cold water. Two tablespoons of lemon juice. Just like a tablespoon of salt. Bring this to a boil. Let there be light. And then bring it down to a simmer for five minutes. After five minutes, add the artichoke hearts. Completely covered with water at all times. Bring that back to a boil, then let that simmer for 35 minutes. Well, 30 to 40 minutes, I'm splitting the difference, until they're tender. Thank you. Once that's finished, I'm gonna, I need to, oops. 
I'm gonna have to just keep it in the liquid. I'm gonna <laughs> just take it easy, man, and let this cool. One of the cream fillings on page 212, 215. Fondue au gruyere. Cream filling with Swiss cheese. So I gotta make my filling for my artichokes. Ham, chicken, mushroom, shellfish, or just cheese. Uh, I'm gonna do a cream filling with Swiss cheese and since I have it, I bought ham for another recipe. So I'm gonna use that as well. But of course, if you wanna keep this old vegetarian, then that's up to you too. Start with the ham. Oh my God, what are you doing with the ham on a wooden cutting board? Okay, the ham's already pre-cooked, so I'm not worried about it being on a wooden cutting board, sorry. Three ounces of it. So that just says chopped ham. So my guess is just really thinly, almost like a dice. So. Saute the ham up in some butter for just a moment. Done, that's done. So I need half a pint of boiling milk, and I think that's around 235 milliliters. So yeah, just boil that up over yonder. So while that's doing its thing, two ounces, two ounces of a Swiss cheese. It needs to be coarsely grated. One and a quarter ounces of butter, whatever that is in grams, sorry. Or one and a quarter ounces of flour. Careful, buddy. Cook the butter and flour slowly together. Cool. 1.25 ounces is 35.44 grams. There you go. We're gonna cook that very slowly, only for two minutes. Add in that boiling milk. Half a teaspoon of salt, one eighth teaspoon of pepper, pinch of nutmeg, and a pinch of cayenne pepper. Is this like a bechamel sort of thing? I have all these leftover egg yolks from the floating island dessert that I made yesterday. Remove the sauce from the heat, first of all. Place egg yolk in center of sauce. Beat it in vigorously. Let it cool for a second, then add in the cheese, the ham, and of course, more butter, yay. Away from the heat, stir it all in. And that is looking pretty sexy. She says dot top of sauce with butter to prevent the skin from forming, but I'm just gonna put a top on, like a cap, because I've already put a lot of butter in there. Whoa. Artichokes have cooled completely. I'm gonna remove them from the liquid, give them a wash over in the sink. I'm not gonna take you with me. Just believe me that I'm washing them off. All right, so I gotta remove the choke, which is this part, it's like rough part in the middle. Ooh, that is rougher than this. Okay, so I gotta remove that somehow. How do I get that out? I wanted to use a spoon, but that was gonna ruin it. All right, just do it by hand. Oh, there's like hair in here. I stand corrected about what the choke is. It's actually this really like, it's this very furry thing in the center that I, I can't get it out. I don't know how to get it out. How the f do you get the f That is the choke. And I'm finding it incredibly difficult to get it out of here once I have softened these things. It's like I wish I did it before I had softened them. There's no way I'm supposed to be eating this. Maybe these leaves don't need to be on there. Is the choke, oh, uh, this has been just a stupid experiment today. What is the heart of the artichoke? Is it this? Are these leaves edible? If I remove the choke, which is underneath the center here, it effectively ruins everything. So I did for this one, and all I have left is this bottom piece, the, the heart. I mean, this is really good. One down, two more to go. How is that correct? I didn't really want to lose these leaves here, but maybe I'm supposed to. All the hard work, and this is what uh, I'm, I'm left with. I'm going off one little diagram in this book because if I look online, I can't see any other examples of this being an artichoke heart. It all looks different. So I'm just left with this right here. I mean, is that right? I, it doesn't make any sense. Why would it matter if this is gonna turn a different color or get brown or something when it just looks like this? You know, you see where I'm... Butter up a baking dish. Then my filling, filling in the center. 
I think I'll load up on the filling, thank you very much. Sprinkle some cheese on top. And then with little pieces of butter, just dot it. Dot it, as she says. Upper part of the preheated oven, 375. 375F for 20 minutes or so. Okay, I'm here, I'm here. All right, so I got the broiler going so that I can get a little more color on the top. A little variation in color. I think it's gonna look nice. Well, I mean, yeah, it's gonna look nice. That's parsley. They are finito, that about does it. Order up. All that work for this, for this. Yep, something that uh, didn't last long, but it was quite tasty. What I think about when I'm eating it is like, tastes like something that has been like pickled or something like fermented. I don't know, it's got that little bit of a tangy, like tangy sourness to it, a little bit. But then it's also like herbaceous and sweet a little bit. When you're taking a bite out of it, it's like nice and meaty and uh, juicy and you know what? Don't finish that sentence. Without the filling, it would have been, it still would have been a tasty artichoke, but it's just a lot of work to get to that point. So maybe it wouldn't have been worth it. But when you have the filling on top, now it's turned into something that's a little more special than just like, you know, just that little disc. <laughs> Just that little piece. It's like so many different ways to make these recipes these days and you can make them look a certain way and photo friendly, Instagram friendly, and you can follow along to videos on how to do it. But I'm really just trying to follow along to this book, the words on her page as closely as I can. And sometimes that comes back to haunt me, but you know, if I go online, it kind of feels like I'm cheating. So I try to stay true to the book as often as possible. And I think what I was following along to and what I had on the plate, I think they met up somewhere. I think they matched. I think they matched. I think that is all I got today, guys. Thanks all for joining. This was Jamie and Julia. Bon appetit. Au revoir. Continuing to make this show is possible from all the people over on my Patreon who are helping support this show. I try to give a little bit back over there by, you know, supplying extra content. I do live streams where you can talk to me directly if you have a question to ask. Uh, all of that is available over right here. You gotta sign up for it. It's over on my Patreon. Link is right here or down in the description.